Okay, this next Candy Jam game is Candy Match Forever. It's fairly straightforward. You just match, it's match three, and you want to clear stuff, click the Dragon Jason Candy to swap them. Each level has a goal, watch time limit, even though you're going forever, apparently. But, uh, yeah. Plagiarism is fun. I like the munching noises, and also sick combos, because I'm the best. Or just does it... Does it just go forever once you start it? Oh, 50 points in five moves. I think we're okay on that. The King of Candy Edge was known for his sweet tooth. He started the day with a lollipop, ate a chocolate bar with his midday lunch, and always savored a mint before Story. Dinner. So it went so for really, many years, but it plays one morning, itself. the king was not satisfied with a single sucker. <laughs> he asked for a second, then a third. Chocolates, gummy bears, jawbreakers. Oh, look at the combo the numbers. Day, the king had eaten all of the candy in his castle. What? But that was still not enough. His hunger insatiable, the king ordered his troops to seize all of the candy in his kingdom as well, imprisoning any candy merchants, manufacturers, sticky palmed children who disagreed with the king's desires. The king's troops burned down candy's shelves. A family-run bookstore, following a heated argument, for, you see, the king wished not only to possess all of the candy, he wanted to own the word itself, nay, the very concept. This deed done, the king was still not satisfied, for of course candy not. was his rightful domain, but there were still candies beyond the walls of Candy Edge, and countless folk who dared to utter the word candy without thinking of his kingdom. The king's liquor in the 600 axes. spread around the world with jaw-breaking strength, gumming up any scattered pockets of resistance. The day soon came when the king got his wish. All of the candy in the world at his command. The king ate caramels, gumdrops, crunchy, chewy, molten candy from every country, for every culture, family recipes, trade secrets, primordial candy forms predating the kingdom itself. For the common folk, there was no candy. Candy was a myth, a memory shared in private whispers and withered taste buds. The king grew old. His candy stranglehold tested the loyalties of his closest allies. Does one man have the right to control so much candy? Guards began to slack in their duty, candies went missing. His subjects began demanding a taste of all they had lost. This time, they would not take no for an answer. Open rebellion, blood in the streets, the candy militia decimated. Fearing for his life, the king locked himself in the massive candy vaults. Piles of candy stacked miles high, sticky clumps knocked down with every assault on the vault's doors. The king raised his fist and made a vow. If I can't have all of the candy, then no one will have a single piece. I will crush every bit of candy beneath my feet. Even if it takes me the rest of my life. Is that it? Well, that's clever. Well, if you like watching Candy Fall and want to hear the story again, this is at thecandyjam.com. Otherwise, uh, thank you, Noib, for making this. It was uh, pretty adorable. Nice take on the whole uh, Candy Jam theme. It's at thecandyjam.com if you want to check it out for yourself. I think I might have just said that, but I'm tired. so. But there's also other good stuff there that you actually can play for more than two moves. Uh, so yeah, check it out and uh, rate it yourself. They have a rating system up. Pretty much all the submissions are in, but it's nearly 500. So you got a lot of games to look at. Have fun with that.